my name is Lexi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we will be doing my April TBR. and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be sharing with you my April TBR, like I said before. Um, but before we get started, a word from our sponsor. Book of the month. Take it away, sponsorship me. Hi. <laughs> Let me tell you all about book of the month. Roll the fun rainbow transition. So what exactly is Book of the Month? Well, I'm glad you asked. Book of the Month is a monthly subscription service. Every month, their team bets hundreds of books to select a carefully curated list of five books for you to choose from. Simply select the book that you want to read next and it's delivered to your door. Book of the Month is also completely risk-free as you can skip a month anytime you want or choose a backlist title with popular selections like The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo or The Vanishing Half. And now on to this month's book selection. First up, we have Liberty by Caitlin Greenidge. Tired of everyone telling you how to live your life? Liberty's fight to shape her future in the 1800s in New York City is for you then. This is historical fiction. Next is The Hunting Wives by Mae Cobb, which is a thriller and an early release. Better than bourbon and biscuits, this sizzling story stars Southern Bells on the hunt in more ways than one. Next is What Comes After by Joanne Tompkins. This is contemporary fiction and a debut story. How do we recover from loss? This moving novel of a town struggling after the death of two boys offers hope and wisdom. Next up is Arsenic and Adobo by Mia Manasala. This is a mystery, a debut novel, and an early release. That awkward moment when your ex-boyfriend gets poisoned in your restaurant and everyone thinks you did it. And finally is Emily Henry's The People We Meet on Vacation. You guys, this is one of my most anticipated books of the year. I screamed when I got this in my box. I am so excited. This is a repeat author and an early release. So if you have book of the month, you get this before anyone else. And this is for fans of When Harry Met Sally, a story of two fools in love who might be the only ones who don't know it yet. And if you would like to get your very first book of the month box for only $9.99, you can use the code SPRINGFUN, which is perfect because it's spring and book of the month is fun. So once again, if you'd like to get your very first book box for only $9.99, use the code SPRINGFUN. The link will be down in the description along with the code. Happy reading, my friends. And now back to me who is sitting down, but she's sitting down in a, in a different, lo it's a different location. All right, okay. As always, thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring my video. I always, always, always appreciate and love working with you. And I absolutely love Book of the Month so much. So if you are interested, all the links will be down below along with this month's code. But okay, let's go ahead and get straight into the TBR. So this TBR definitely has a theme and the theme for the month is short books. Do you remember in March when I was like, I can read all of the books, I can do all of the things, and I can do grad school? Well, that did not happen. Sadly, grad school won. So I read like three books last month. Um, <clears throat> yeah, not like my strongest month ever. But knowing that, I know that April is also gonna be kind of a harder month for me to read, so I have intentionally picked books that I think that I can actually read and accomplish. Wow, the sun just said bye. But I've intentionally picked books that I think I can read throughout the month, so they are all a little bit shorter. However, this is my last month in grad school, so the next time I do a TBR for May, I will have graduated with my master's in library science. I am so incredibly excited about that too because I have so many ideas for this summer you guys. I've already been chatting with a bunch of my friends. There's going to be lots of live reading sprints on my channel, lots more content. Anyways, okay. I'm just really excited for the summer. I think it's going to be really, really fun, but we just have to get through this one last month and I think I can do it. And so the books that I will be focusing on are short, 
It's like a lot of information you didn't need, but okay, let's go ahead and get straight into the TBR. So, as you guys know, I have a classics jar where I reach in and I pull out a classic every single month. However, this month I am skipping that because last month I was supposed to read Rebecca with my friend Christine and I failed her. I failed her so hard and I'm so sad about it. So we're actually gonna do like a do-over and I'm gonna try to read that in May. But in April, we are going to be reading The Princess Bride, which isn't a classic, I guess, but it's, it's kind of like a modern classic, maybe, I don't know. Okay, maybe not, maybe that's a stretch, but this is what I'm gonna be reading. And it looks really big, but that's because this is the illustrated edition. The actual version of The Princess Bride is very manageable, so I'm really excited. I will be reading this with my friend, Christine. I love a good buddy read. Christine, I will not fail you again. If you don't know what The Princess Bride is, Oh my God, please watch the movie. It's so good. It's like everything you'd want. It's like romance and pirates and adventure and sword fighting. And it's it's a comedy too. So I'm really, really excited to read this with my friend Christine. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really, really fun. Next up is the book club pick for A Touch of Whimsy, which is my book club that I co-run with one of my best friends in the whole entire world, Kaylin from Kaylin Abridged. And this one actually will be on her channel, and that is The Secret Garden by Frances Burnett. And this one is gonna be really, really fun because this is going to be with Darling Desi and with Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin, and we are going to have a proper garden tea party. It's gonna be really, really fun, and that is gonna be on Kaylin's channel. We are doing a Percy Jackson live show on my channel, this month and originally it was supposed to be this upcoming weekend but we have moved it I believe to April 10th but I think it's gonna be like later in the evening all details for that will just be down below in the description box yes and we moved it because of me spoilers be because of school this book here is about Mary and Mary is sent to live with her brooding uncle it's a little bit of a gothic tale meets cottagecore really because then she discovers a key to a secret garden and uh, I think it's gonna be really great According to Goodreads, I've read this, and honestly, I don't remember reading this. Maybe I read this and I just really don't remember it. Anyways, I think it's gonna be really, really fun to do a tea party with Gavin and Desi. I don't know, I'm excited to read this classic. Next up is the final buddy read I will be doing this month. I am buddy reading this with my friend Allie from Allie Enchanted. By the way, if you don't follow Allie, she took a little bit of a break from YouTube for about a year, but she is one of my favorite channels. She is one of my best friends. We can't go a single week without talking with each other um, and she's just like such a positive happy person with such a great heart every time I think of Allie I think of like fairies in the springtime so this is the perfect time to follow her if you have not already I'll leave her down below but we are going to be buddy reading shipped and this is by Angie Hawkman this is a romance I found this from Chandler Ainsley's channel when she was recommending like different romance books and this one sounded really good because I don't remember if she said this was like the honeymooners or if this was like the hating game but I loved both of those Book, so I think this is gonna be really cool. This is about two people who are like in a feud with each other at the office for this one promotion. And to get the promotion, they both have to go onto this like business cruise. So it's hate to love, it's steamy, it's on a boat. I'm thinking this is gonna be like Titanic, ex except meaner, so. <laughs> Next up is my Instagram pick. I like this because I like having dedicated reading vlogs that you guys kind of have a little control over. I will say, again, I'm so sorry that my reading vlogs are a little bit late. The Death of Mrs. Westaway should be coming out really soon. The raw footage is just super long. This is gonna determine what book I read for the month and vlog for the month. The first book that we have here is The Cousins, and this is by Karen M. McManus. This is a book about basically a family who comes from a lot of wealth, but they are all cut off from the grandmother. And then the cousins are invited by the grandmother to go to this private island for the summer. And all of the family members want them to do this because they think that this is like they're in to get back in with good graces so that they can inherit some money. But once they are there, things are more sinister than they imagine. I live for family drama, so I will tell you right now, this is the one I want to win. 
but they both sound really good. And I picked two books that I'm really, really invested in and that I really wanna read. So the next book I also really wanna read and that is What Big Teeth? And this is by Rose Zabo. This right here is about Eleanor and Eleanor comes from a family of monsters who she runs away from, but one day she has to go back and try to solve the monster's problems and face the monster within herself. I mean, honestly, I'm really excited to read this too because I love a book with monsters in it. I think it's gonna be really, really fun to read about. So which one did you guys choose? Did you guys choose What Big Teeth? Or did you guys choose The Cousins? And you guys chose The Cousins! Well, there you go. I actually don't know which book will have won because I've just asked Instagram and so editing me will know. But either way, I'm very, very excited to know which one won. Yay. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the books. So you know how in Pirates of the Caribbean, Kira Knightley says in her sexy British accent, parlay, parlay, and then the one pirate is like, these are more just like guidelines. That was a horrible accent, but you know what I'm talking about? These are just like guidelines. So these are the books that I have picked that are short that I want to get to, but I'm not holding myself accountable to this TBR strictly because I only read three books last month. And to be honest, it's more important that I focus on graduating, but if I have time, these will be the books that I reach for next. The first one is The Harpy, and this is by Megan Hunter. If I don't get into this now, expect to see it on like my May TBR because I really want to read this. This is about a couple and the husband cheats on his wife. And so the wife decides to get back at him times three. I've heard that this is really dark and messy and sinister, but I've also heard that it has like a lot of really beautiful writing and that it reads kind of like a dark fairy tale. And I'm excited to read it. I don't know. I think it'll be like kind of fun to read about. So yeah, there's the harpy. This one also, we love a short book. This is not even 200 pages. Yeah, this is like 191. Love it. Next up, we have like a little novella, and this is one that I've been really, really wanting to read for quite some time, and that is The Empress of Salt and Fortune, and this is by this person, and I just, I don't want to mess up the name. I really don't. I don't know a lot about this other than the fact that Kayla from Books and Lala really, really loved this book, and we have very similar tastes, so I'm probably going to like this book, but... I don't know. I just know that it's kind of like a like a myth or like a retelling or a fable or something like that. And I don't know. I think it'll be really, really fun to read. This is also like barely over 100 pages. So I do think I can get to this, which is great. And then last, but certainly not least, is, oh no, I do not remember how to say the title of this. And somebody told me how to say the title of this in my book haul. And now I don't remember. Do I, do I want to use Google Translate? Piranesi. Are you sure? Piranesi. 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 Listen, you heard it from Google. Piranesi. That's not right, is it? I want to read this book for so many reasons. Uh, the first reason is because it sounds very strange and whimsical. And that is my brand. But also, I want to read this because my friend Allie just read this and she gave it a five out of five stars and she said that it was one of her favorite new books. And Allie and I have pretty similar taste, so I really, really, really want to read this because Allie liked it, basically. I've heard it's whimsical and strange. It's about this person who lives in a house and the house is like a maze and it's ever changing. And I want to read it. But there you guys have it. That is my TBR. I have less books than normal. Most of them are all very, very, actually all of them are very, very short. Um, but as always, I'm excited. Spring is in the air. I'm graduating soon. And I am so excited for the summer when we can hang out and do all of the bookish things together. Oh, and by the way, you know what? Since I'm already planning a bunch of summer stuff, um, please let me know down in the comments if there is a specific video you want me to make this summer. But anyways, you guys, that is it for now. So until next time, book lovers, keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye! Um, you spin around, you laugh to yourself, and I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing. Yeah.